All right, hey y'all, it has been a minute since I have sat down and talked to you guys, let alone do the video that y'all know I'm about to do because of the title. I love these kind of videos and I say this all the time whenever I do them. I feel like I love these kind of videos and watching them, whether it's on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, whatever. But I don't know if my audience really likes them, but I'm gonna just do them anyways because it's my channel and I feel like it. It's about time I make some different content. Like I've just been doing hair, 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 and I need like a little break. So here we are. Y'all, I am going to quickly, as quickly as possible, show you guys a few of my favorite makeup products. All right, y'all, so starting with the order of how I do my makeup, so starting with primer first, um, this is the Refi. I purchased this Refi primer um, maybe three months ago or something like that, and I was so against buying it because of the applicator. It's not very sanitary to me because it has like this roller ball right here. Product comes out and then you just kind of roll it on your face. Definitely stayed away from it for a while because I was like, that just can't be good for my acne prone skin. But this primer is actually really good. I have pretty oily skin. I'm an oily girl. And during the winter time, I definitely lean more towards combo oily because I do get dry around my mouth and on like the sides of my face. And this I thought would make me more oilier, but it doesn't, it's actually really good. It definitely holds my makeup in place. I definitely recommend trying it, but I don't recommend, I think if I got this again, I wouldn't use the applicator. I would simply just open it up and then just put some on my finger and apply it, you know, with a brush or my hands to my face. I don't think the applicator is really necessary. I think it's a little gimmicky, but the product itself is really good. Another product, another base that I've been using or primer is the Yummy Skin by Vanessa Myricks. Y'all, I purchased her Groundwork Palette, which honestly, I'm not the biggest fan of, I'm be honest. I know so many people love it, but <laughs> I just kind of feel like for me, that just wasn't necessary. I think I just really wanted to support her and just buy something. Don't even really use it. But this right here, this Vanessa Myricks The Yummy Skin Balm. I have it in the universal shade. I love this stuff. It definitely controls my oil and minimizes my pores. I'm like, as I'm getting a little bit older, I feel like my pores are just coming, like getting larger and larger. And here I am thinking that was something that was supposed to happen when I was younger. But the older I get, the more prominent they are becoming. And I don't know what's going on, but I'm trying to do something about it, but this definitely helps to fill them in. So these two primers, highly, highly recommend both of these. Moving on to foundation. This has been the only one I've really been wearing, you guys, unless I'm doing just like concealer on my cheeks where I typically break out at. Um, it's the NARS, it's the NARS Soft Matte. I have mine in Cadiz. It leads a little bit more on the darker side for me right now. So I was thinking about getting a lighter shade because I have one darker than this one that I don't even use. So I'm thinking about I'll probably just have three shades of these and I'll be able to mix them um, as the months go. But the Soft Matte Foundation is absolutely amazing. I can't believe I waited so long to try this. It's been out for quite a while. I was just stuck on Huda Beauty and I still love Huda. Like I still love all her products. I just have to branch out and try different things because once I get on something, I don't let up. It is who I am. Oily Skin Girls Combo Normal. I don't know if it will work for dry because it's Soft Matte but it doesn't, it's not like super matte where you just feel like your skin is so tight, it's so dry. It's not like the Huda Beauty Foundation, so keep that in mind. I think it's definitely a more comfortable feeling. You don't need a lot of it as well. And I just think it's a beautiful foundation. I highly recommend picking this up. So next I'm gonna talk about concealers. These are the only two that I've pretty much been wearing um, because I do need to re-up on my Huda Beauty concealers. Listen, I don't care what anyone says, the Huda Beauty Pro filter whatever they flawless filter I don't know what they call them concealers are amazing I love those to wear underneath my eyes and just in place of a foundation but because I need to re-up I've been using these two and honestly they're just as good they give such a really good coverage this one I have in maple and the lighter one I have in dune I use dune underneath my eyes I don't really use maple as much because I thought it would work for my skin tone like kind of all over in place of a foundation but it doesn't so I don't really reach for this I'll probably collect a few more of these shades so that I can basically customize my own little concealer you know color and wear it more so as a foundation especially since it's about to be a lot warmer and I do not do foundation in the summertime y'all absolutely not I need 
even tell you what they were. They're the hourglass concealers. They're creamy, they're full coverage. In my opinion, you don't need a lot of it just for day to day. Now, if you're about to glam yourself up, go for it. Like, do what you need to do. I'm all for 2024 being the like comeback of the glam and actually using products. I'm so over this clean girl makeup as well. It's, it's boring. They are definitely worth the price tag because they ain't cheap. Brows. I have, I don't even know what my top is. I just had this freaking top. Um, but I've only been using the Kosas, the Kosas Brow Pop Nano. I have it in the shade brown black and I love it. At first I was like, I don't know if I like this because when I tell you the actual like um, product, like the pencil is so tiny, it's so thin. I was kind of like, this can take me all day to fill in my brows, right? but it actually is perfect. I was using the Patrick Ta one before this, and I don't know if I'll go back to that one just yet, like when I finish this one up. I may stick to this because I like the color on it, and I just like how small it is. You can really get in there and do some like really fine strokes if you want to. I'm gonna move on to cheeks. I think I've talked about this one before, but it's the Patrick Ta, and I actually have two of these. It's the Double Take Cream Powder and Blush. <laughs> I said powder and blush. It's the double take cream and powder blush. And I have one in She's the Moment. And then I have another one, I think in She's Wanted. I think I have that one too. I just don't know where it is. I love this because it, the price is kind of right. You get a lot of product in my opinion. I'm just really liking Patrick Ta at the moment, period. I saw something on TikTok that said he doesn't make products or he doesn't make his stuff for you know black girls and i don't agree with that i think the color pay off i think his range especially when it comes to blushes is pretty awesome and so yeah another product i don't see people talk about and i can kind of see why a little bit it's the tower 28 um i guess you will call this it's for your lips and your cheeks it's like a cream based product, y'all. I think it's called Beach Please. The shade that I have mine in is Magic Hour, but it's kind of like a really nudie type of color. Kind of leans more a little bit mauve -y, peachy. I don't know, I don't know how to explain it. I'm horrible at that. But I love this on my cheeks. I think it gives the most prettiest natural color ever. Somebody out there looking at me. Especially for those no makeup makeup days or I don't want a lot of color on my cheeks. I think this is the perfect color for someone that is my shade, like my color and probably a little bit lighter. If you're darker than me, I don't think this, I don't think this is gonna show. I don't think this is gonna show, especially on the cheeks. It will probably show on the lips more than anything. I feel like it doesn't hold though. I feel like if you're looking for something that's gonna last you hours upon hours, this is not gonna be it. But if you're just looking for a little something of, you know, just doing a light makeup look to go run some errands and, you know, be out for a few hours, go quickly have lunch with a girlfriend or your, your man or whatever, and you just want something really cute really fast because you put this on your lips or your cheeks, then I would go for it. But long lasting, I don't know about that, but I still have to put it in here because I've been using it nonstop. So I really like it. Okay, so for lips, I'm gonna tell you the one thing you should definitely buy, and it's the new Anastasia um, Lip Velvet. I have mine in the color Parchment, and it is absolutely beautiful. It's probably one of my favorite colors I've ever worn, ever purchased. It's like this peachy, pinky, red brick, I don't even know how to explain it. Y'all know I'm horrible at it. But y'all, I've only been wearing this for a little bit because it's, I think it's one of her newest products, so I haven't been wearing it that long. But when I tell you guys the amount of people, either on social media or if I'm out and about and I'm wearing this, have asked me what color am I wearing on my lips, have DM'd me, it has been this. I've been wearing this with the um, Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat. It's like a dark brown, so it doesn't even matter. Just a dark brown liner and a little bit of this. Ugh. You can pack it on for more color and you can do just a little bit just to give your lips like a little bit of tint. It's so pretty. It's like the prettiest freaking color ever. They did a good job on this one. Next y'all, I have been, I don't know where my other one is, but any of the NYX Lime Loud lip liners, this one is in Leave a Legacy. It's kind of like a pinky nude kind of 
kind of color. I've been wearing this one nonstop. I do have one that's a little bit lighter than this, but I don't know where it is. God dang it. I don't really like to spend a lot of money on lip liners for some reason, because I think you can get really good quality just like NYX. I do love to use lip liners as well as just like a lipstick. Any of these liners from NYX are beautiful. And another product I didn't really like as much when I first got it and I started to take it back. But since I don't ever take nothing back from Sephora because I'm too lazy sometimes and then when I actually do go to the mall, I forget the product. So anyways, I just be stuck with a whole bunch of stuff sometimes. Is this gloss from Milk. So this color is a really light pink shade. It's in Soul Search and by itself, it's not pretty. It's not pretty to me. Like it's just not cute and I was wearing it like that or I was trying to wear it like that for a while and I was like this is this is one it's a baby pink you know what I mean it's a baby pink color it's not pretty it looks like white ash on my lips like but if you pair it with a brown liner or something like that it's beautiful oh it is perfect it is absolutely perfect but I'm wearing it right now I don't even know if it's still on but it's just think it's so pretty y'all such a really good combo last when it comes to makeup is this right here this is the say sun melt bronzer i have mine in tan bronze it's a cream bronzer okay i've been trying my best lately i've been doing like more cream products because i always feel like cream is just so hard for me to work with so i'm definitely a powder girl but i love it i love the color payoff and the cream is so easy to work with it gives the most natural sun-kissed like bronze look spring summer hit and y'all ask me what am I wearing, it's gonna be this because I just think it's a beautiful product. They did a really good job with this. And honestly, I'm not the biggest say like girl. I'm very new to the brand. The only other product I have from this brand is a cream blush and I don't like it. But this, this is, this is good. Because of this, I will definitely buy a few more products from this brand and see exactly like how I feel about them. All right, really quickly, let's talk setting spray. The Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray from Char Charlotte Tilbury. Y'all, I see why everybody likes this. I see why it's a cult classic. It's a Allure favorite. At first, I was like, y'all just saying stuff. Like, it's a setting spray. I'm gonna stick with my Urban Decay D Slick because I'm an oily girl. But this right here, when people say this literally melts your entire face, just brings everything together, it does. I see when this comes in three or four different sizes, one of those. Next, y'all, these lashes, I cannot even tell y'all how much I love these lashes. I am a lash cluster girl to I die. I don't know the last time I put on a strip lash, you guys. I have so many of these cluster packets, but these so far have been my favorite. I'll put everything, of course, in the description box. One is the She Couture cluster lashes. One of them is very light, so it's a very wispy, if you're not used to wearing lashes, you will probably wear this. I wear this like on days where I don't, I just want a little bit of something, but not a lot of something, you know what I mean? Or on the natural side, I guess I would say. And the other ones are definitely more dramatic, but they're still so comfortable, so comfortable. I'm wearing these today. And of course y'all know they are affordable. With these cluster lashes, y'all, I've been using the Falscara bond and seal with it and it does a wonderful job. I still don't know how these girls keep their cluster lashes on and past a day because I can't seem to do it. I'm like, do y'all not wash y'all's face? Do y'all like not like wash your eye? I'm so lost. If you got a trick, let me know. Next you guys, as far as applying products, I'm only gonna talk about three things and I'll be done. First is the, I'm down to one of these, is the Paul Under Blenders. You get six little sponges and I just think they do a good job. I will definitely be purchasing another pack of these, probably another two packs because I love them. If you're still using like beauty blenders that cost $20, like I'm not doing that. I just, I can't, I can't afford it. Amazon, Amazon, Amazon. Next, another Amazon purchase is this flat top kabuki brush, y'all. I've been using this nonstop since I got it for my foundation, to apply my soft matte foundation. It's small, it's fat, flat, so it's nice and dense, so you can definitely get some coverage up in there but it's so good. This is one of the best brushes I've ever used and it was only like $8 on Amazon. It was like $8.99, $9, y'all. So I will definitely link this. I think it's worth the purchase. Like go buy this brush, it's good. It says it's a K210 brush. 
So I'm probably gonna look at this brand and buy a few more brushes from them because this one they got right. And if you get the first product that I got from you is right, it's more than right, it's like a 10 out of 10, I'm gonna buy another one. And it's inexpensive. This last brush that I have, which is not $9. Y'all, it's a makeup by Mario brush, so you know what $10. But this is the, what is this, the F4 brush, so it's double-sided. I use it for a concealer and foundation if like, cause I don't never know what all my brushes are. So I'll just grab this one if I can't find the Kabuki brush. It's a little bit smaller on this side to kind of get right here. It's not super, super small for concealer, but it does the job for me, especially when I'm in a hurry. I just think it's really good. It's not super dense, but it's dense enough and it applies the product really well. So that's everything, that's all the products that I want to talk about. I just wanted to get this out there just in case you're trying to figure out if you want to go buy new things, spring is coming up, you want something different in your makeup stash, your makeup collection. This is everything that I have been using non on stop um, everything that I reach for so I will make sure I put everything down in the description box for you guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you have any questions comments all that great stuff I will talk to you guys in my next one bye